God bless you, and thank you so much for jo joining the sermon. It's a pleasure to be here with you, and please take a moment, please, and like and subscribe. Thank you so much. This will build my algorithm so that it reaches more people, and it will go to nations. And I really am blessed. I've had people contact me from Africa and from Morocco and other places. And oh my God, it's just so awesome knowing all this. Today in the sermon, I'm having a roll call. I want you to look inside yourself and ask yourself, am I born again? What does that mean, born again? Do you have the spirit of a living God within you? Have you accepted Jesus as Lord? People say, how do I know that I'm going to heaven? Well, I'm going to cover that today. In Romans chapter 10, verse 9, God tells us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You're saved. What does save mean? Let's go back to John 3.16. For God so loved the world that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So the reward, the outcome of your believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and accepting that God hath raised him from the dead is eternal life. Life after we are die, dead. When the Lord Jesus Christ comes with the trumpet, trumpet and he raised the dead in Christ first and then the living shall be gathered together, we shall be with him evermore. So if you have doubt about whether or not you are born again, whether or not you're going to heaven or hell, that just answered a simple question. It's simple. God has made the Holy Bible simple. Religion has overcomplicated it. People have overcomplicated. But when we read what's written and accept that without any private interpretation, then basically the outcome is produces an understanding that we can accept and take in. So I hope that helped you. To know that you know that you know that you're going to heaven. So stop worrying about it. Are you going to sin? Yeah. Because salvation is not by works. It's, you're not good enough. Really get that. You're not good enough. It's not by what you do. It's not by giving money. It's not by anything. It's not by works. Salvation is not by works. Is by grace. It's by God's grace. So accept that and you have it. So God bless you. I hope that helped. I want to keep this simple and short and say please like and subscribe. And thank you so much again for joining. God bless you. Bye-bye.